Ever since I was younger, I was into video games. Somebody like the views so I can bring bad news to all these crews who can't NBA jam with you. What's going on, guys? Welcome back to another beer review. Uh, going back to Barrel Theory to review the second beer that my man Chase sent. Um, it's in a crawler, so it's just a regular standard Barrel Theory uh, label. I love their um, logo, by the way. It's super simple. It's perfect. Um, this is Shooter McGavin. <laughs> That's an awesome name for a beer. Shout out to Happy Gilmore. 8.2% uh, alcohol by volume, double IPA with Citra, it says. Um, this was crawlered on November 6th. 6th. So, time of recording, we are just a little under a month old. Um, we reviewed their pale ale with Citra, and it was amazing. And now I'm going to review the double IPA. And I'm going to pour this away from the camera as per usual with crawlers because I'm going to spill it everywhere. Um, someone had said to pour a crawler, like turn the can or the crawler and do it 90 degrees, but that's not making sense to me. Are you supposed to pour it like upside down? I don't know what that means. Um, but yeah, this actually, the spillage wasn't too bad. I'll throw that there. I can tell you right now, I can smell that exploding from the glass already. So that's awesome. Um, and par for the course, this looks like juice. <laughs> it looks like pineapple juice. Um, solid finger of just super frothy, like off-white head. Um, it's really sudsy. I don't know if you guys can see that in the middle of that. Um, it's just like pillowy and already uh, sticking to the glass. 8.2% when we swirl that there, some alcohol lakes, but it looks absolutely amazing in that glassware. So this has been sitting out for about 10 minutes. There's still some, there's still like a chill on it, but um, I wanted it to warm a little bit so we could see what she smells like. So let's shove our fat nose in it. It smells like orange juice. I mean, that's citrus. Citrus is always like so citrus, obviously. Um, it can be green, it can be herbaceous, but this is straight orange juice. Um, this even has that little bit of kind of yeasty sort of Flintstone vitamin-y thing too. But tons and tons it is. It's like fleshy orange, orange juice. Um, there's not really much else other than like just crazy oranges. There's a nice kind of crackery, white bready uh, maltiness under that, but this is, if you like orange juice, if you like citrus forward IPAs, you're stoked on the nose of this. It smells killer, so let's taste it, Chase. Cheers. Oh man, that's so good. <laughs> Minnesota folk, you are pumped to have Barrel Theory in your neighborhood. Man, that's delicious. Taste falls in nose. Right up front, it is. It's just, it's like fresh squeezed orange juice. Um, this almost reminds me of, I mean, if you're familiar with Treehouse beer, this is sort of in that, I mean, I don't want to say it's the same, but it reminds me of like trying Julius. That beer was so orange forward when I drank it for the first time. This is straight juice. Um, there's a little bit, I'd mentioned with um, Citra, it can get green. There's a little bit of like herbaceous, um, just think like fresh kind of cut herbs, mid palate to finish on that. But if you like, like I said, if you like orange juice, this is the beer for you. If they have this on tap, go get crawlers of it or however they do it. Or just sit there and just dome all of it. It's over 8% and it drinks like a 6.5% beer. This is fantastic. Mouthfeel is, it's like a medium, medium minus uh, mouthfeel. That Flintstone vitamin kind of a thing that I got on the nose, as this is warming, it's really coming out. I love that in a beer, and I know Matt goes back, uh, goes back and forth with me about that. He doesn't like that in a beer. He says it's an off flavor. It's not for me. It's just something that I remember as a kid. But yeah, I mean, this is orange, like orange creamsicle for days. <laughs> this is really, really good. That little bit of like kind of crusty white bread that's there kind of balances out. Even as this is warming more in my hand, there's a slight kind of touch of like that, we talked, like I'd said, herbaceous. It's like this kind of, it's not like a biting bitterness, it, and I don't even know if it's bitterness. It's like that kind of green hot bite, and, but it's not like that spicy kind of bite. It just lets you know now as it's you know coming more to room temperature that it's a beer. This is a juice bomb though. I mean, this is, this is what people I think in Minnesota have wanted for so long, and it's finally there. This is fucking awesome. 
it's another world-class beer for me. 97, that's fan-fucking-tastic. So I am uh, I'm a believer in Barrel Theory. The pale ale that I had was fucking awesome. This double IPA is fantastic. I can't wait. I don't know when I'm going to have um, the Berliner that Chase sent, but... If you guys are in uh, St. Paul, you need to be at Barrel Theory all the time, doming all their beers. So that Shooter McGavin, that's fantastic. I love that. <laughs> that's really, really good. So um, if you guys have had it, leave a comment below. Let me know what you think. Chase, thanks so much for sending this, bro. I really, really appreciate it. Um, yeah, and if you're in Minnesota, go check out Barrel Theory. It behooves you. So I'm out of here. I'll see you guys very soon. Cheers. Ever since I was younger, I was into video games. Somebody like the fuse who I can bring bad news to all these crews who can't NBA jam with the shoes.